STEAM, SCIENCE, SPORT AND SOCKS. Welcome to Loughborough. hundred miles north of London, halfway between Leicester and Nottingham, you'll find Loughborough. The town itself grew rapidly in the 19th century on the back of the hosiery trade. Knitting presses invented by William Cotton powered manufacturing in Loughborough for decades alongside famous local engineering firms. This history is symbolised by the town's most iconic sculpture, the Sock, which welcomes visitors to the market square. Now Sockman divided opinion upon his unveiling, but I think he's wonderful. The socks may have gone, but one of Loughborough's most traditional industries is very much still thriving. I'm talking bells, the best bells in the world. John Taylor & Co is the largest bell foundry on the planet. This is the cast of Britain's biggest bell at St Paul's Cathedral. Cast in 1881 here in Loughborough, it took 11 days to transport to London, where it's been ringing ever since. You can hear the Taylor Bells at Loughborough's Carillion Tower, erected here in Queen's Park as a memorial to the fallen of the First World War. These playful benches are scattered all over the town centre. They celebrate the history of Ladybird Books, the country's most successful children's publisher. Founded by Henry Wills at Angel Yard in 1867, Ladybird Books was central to the town up until its departure in 1999. Loughborough's splendid Victorian swimming pool has been converted into the Charnwood Museum and here you can find out more about Ladybird Books and also the earlier inhabitants of this area. Romans, Vikings, Anglo-Saxons, Knights, Templar, you name it, they've all had a hand here and then you can also discover more about the incredible wildlife and scenery that's on the doorstep. Loughborough has had a market charter for 800 years and even today it's impossible to imagine this town without its market. This enormous mural celebrates the heroism of Johnny Johnson, legendary World War II fighter pilot, in fact Loughborough's very own top gun. I think it's absolutely brilliant, but if you keep your eyes open, there's plenty more street art to find on the streets of Loughborough. Around the world, Loughborough is probably best known for its university, a leader in science and engineering, but particularly well known for sports sciences. I could spend all day listing off the athletes, sportswomen, sportsmen who have graduated on these fields. There are entire European countries that don't have the facilities on offer here at Loughborough University. If you want to learn about sport, then this has to be the place. Loughborough is surrounded by the remnants of the ancient Charnwood Forest, one of the best places for an aerial view over the town 
in the Saw Valley is from here, amongst the rocky volcanic outcrops of Beacon Hill, some of the oldest rocks in the country. Now, no trip to Loughborough is complete without stepping back in time at the Great Central Railway. There are many preservation railways in the United Kingdom, but this is the only double track railway running at the moment from Loughborough to Leicester. You can no longer take the train all the way to Sheffield or London, but you can book a special restaurant car and sit and enjoy the scenery of Leicestershire. The railway itself has superstar status, having appeared in countless period dramas. The staff here are well used to Hollywood movie stars stepping onto the platform. Throughout the year, the railway also holds many gala days. Today, it's the beer festival. I always find coming here particularly nostalgic because when I was a child, my great aunt lived a stone's throw away from the station. So I would run down to the bottom of the garden at any sign of a passing steam train. Well, I've got a ticket for the 12.30, so that's all for this film. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next journey. Yeah.